manufacturing and peddling cocaine, heroin, meth, and fentanyl. Fentanyl, now considered the deadliest drug killing Americans coast to coast. Last month in the Imperial Valley, the U.S. Department of Justice indicting 47 alleged members of the Sinaloa cartel after seizing 2 million doses of fentanyl. El Mayo and Guzman Lopez joins the list of Sinaloa cartel leaders and associates the Justice Department has taken into custody, including Guzman Lopez's father, the cartel's co-founder, El Port near El Paso, Texas. The two passengers on board apparently thought they were still in northern Mexico, checking out a clandestine airfield for use by the drug cartel. That's when agents from U.S. Homeland Security and the FBI boarded the plane and put the men in handcuffs. Mexican officials this morning showed showing photos of El Mayo and the second man, the son of the notorious El Chapo, Joaquin Guzman Lopez, drug bloggers obtaining the uncensored photo of El Mayo in American custody. He is facing charges for fentanyl trafficking, money laundering, firearms offenses, kidnapping, and conspiracy to commit murder. Here at the federal courthouse in El Paso, El Mayo pleading not guilty and ordered held without bond. I-team sources say Joaquin Guzman, El Chapo's 38-year-old son, was brought to Chicago and is being held here in the MCC. Former federal prosecutor and ABC7 chief legal analyst Gil Sofer says the long-planned and well-executed arrest on U.S. soil avoids a messy extradition fight in Mexican courts. We saw what happened when an arrest was made in Mexico of El Chapo himself. Uh, you are at risk of escape. You're at risk of the authorities delaying or denying extradition. Since news shows 76-year-old Ismael El Mayo Zambada, a leader of the Sinaloa cartel, just before he was duped and apprehended by U.S. law enforcement after a months-long operation to capture him. CBS News has learned Zambada thought he was flying to see property in northern Mexico Thursday, but was instead flown to a small airport outside El Paso, Texas, and promptly arrested. He was lured, according to multiple sources, by someone close to him, Joaquin Guzman, a top cartel official and son of the notorious drug lord known as El Chapo, in an act of betrayal. Guzman was also arrested, the reason he cooperated not immediately disclosed. The Justice Department will not rest until every single cartel leader, member, and associate responsible for poisoning our communities is held accountable. The men are accused of running one of the most powerful and ruthless criminal organizations in the world. The DEA says the Sinaloa cartel generates billions each year and is the largest supplier of synthetic drugs like fentanyl into the U.S. It's helped fuel an overdose epidemic. Nearly 75,000 Americans died from synthetic opioids. Like